tip and trick of the week. Um, I'm going to make this real quick, but this is scoring rules. And Tyler, it seems like we don't run into this too often, but when we do, it's such an important thing. Yeah, so scoring rules are basically a way in the CRM to, you know, give or subtract points, right, from a lead or a contact or now an account and deal, as Brett's going to talk about, um, based on different actions, right? So if you're sending out emails out of the CRM, like workflow, kind of automated, lightweight marketing emails, or maybe you have um, outreach sales reps kind of placing calls, right? As long as everything's being tracked in the CRM, you can actually score on this. And, and at the end of the day, the benefit is, Let's say we send three emails to 100 leads and 10 of them click all three. If we score on that action, right, then we can prioritize our time and focusing on those 10 leads who are engaged. So it's basically a way to score the engagement based on various activities that you're able to track as a prioritization. Yeah, kind of, yeah we'll talk through it here in a kind of a little bit more detail. So if you, you click on settings and then under automation, you're going to see scoring rules. And once you get into the whole scoring rules section, it, the more things you have integrated with the CRM, the more things you're going to see that you can score on. So on a base implementation, it's very limited. It's really, you know, you can score on a particular lead field or maybe on uh, some email insights or something like that. Basically, have they open or clicked on an email? As you add things in like telephony integration, surveys, campaigns, Facebook, Twitter, social integrations, Zoho signs, Zoho backstage, webinar integration, you then can start scoring on all of these things. So what, what does that mean? So you, just as Tyler was saying, the more engaged a client is with you, the higher the score. By the way, you can also take off scores from people. So if a person never, ever, ever opens an email you send them, maybe for every email that's gone unopened, it's just a minus one because there's just absolutely no interest in anything you've sent them. But if they do open one of your emails, maybe that's a plus 10. And then from there, you can trigger overall workflows that say, guess what? This person has finally got to a 15. And at that point, you know that they must be a hot lead because they've clicked on enough things. They've gone to enough websites. They've engaged with you in some sort of a way that now you know that they're that they're important. Uh, and also there are things like if you use acuity scheduling, it'll even know when they book a meeting with you. So if someone books an online meeting with you, they can score it that way as well. And you can do this for leads, you can do this for contacts, same kind of thing, because maybe a contact's not necessarily a client, but you always wanna kind of monitor that overall level of engagement. Um, and now recently, and as we were doing this, I actually, this may have been here for a long time, but we've never really done anything with it before. Um, you can do it for accounts and, and deals. So in this case, though, you're really making up your own rules. You're saying you're doing it on a field level basis. So you're saying, hey, if this particular field is X, Y, and Z, then I want to give this particular score. Um, so, you know, as you're in a deal, maybe there are certain things you want to progress through um, to say whether or not this deal's reached a certain level of activity. Because some people, they open a deal at the very beginning. It's almost... You know, as soon as they talk to a lead, it becomes a deal. So that's still not necessarily something that's maybe near closing. So you maybe really want to monitor that uh, very, you know, very closely as well. So scoring rules, super important. If you haven't played around with them, I, I really, uh, I really suggest you do. Make sure you add workflows then, and it's a very simple workflow. If the score gets to X, then, you know trigger a, at least something that says, by the way, this person finally reached this score. Uh, so you mm -hmm. don't miss any of the advantages of actually having scoring rules. Yeah, exactly. So something like a task or, you know, notification to a sales rep once that lead hits a certain scores is always nice to have just because if you're going to put the scoring rules into place, you want to be able to be notified so you can capitalize on that engagement. <music>